Hello guys, this is Ace High 1960 and today I'm going to be going over the M56 Universal Ammo Pouch. Let's get right into it. The M56 Ammo Pouch was part of the M56 Web Gear. It was a very reliable carrying case for ammo and was used to hold two M14 magazines. But when the M14 got out of service, it was replaced by the M16A1. Now, it was able to hold three 20 round M16A1 magazines inside of the M56 web gear or ammo pouch. They did not have to make an entire new ammo pouch for this and it was a lot more reliable. It was used by the army and was seen by the marines or used by the marines later in the war. All right guys, now let's take a look at it. So the first step to taking or opening the compartment to it is this step right here, you have to, first step right here is to release this little pin, and the second step is to move this up, and you are in your compartment. I just have cardboard as filler in here, but you should be able to hold two M14 magazines, and, or three, um, what is it, three M16A1 magazines, or 20 run magazines, and, um, here you should also see, um, your stamp or your dates right here. I don't know if you're able to see it, but they're right there. And mine is dated 1962. And let's go around, it's right here. It's a little bit of stuff, some details. Um, here you have grenade pin or grenade holders I meant. You can hold two on each side or one on each side, but you can hold two. Well, let's close this up really quick. And so let's go around. You here you have two um, Alice clips that you can attach these um, so that you can help uh, these help you hook them onto your belt, your um, M56 web gear belt, and really nice. And here this is actually where you would hook on. Um, this is what you hook onto the M56 suspenders i'll be doing a review on the suspenders later but here you just um you hook it onto a certain part of it and i'll do a review on the suspenders later but here's just the m56 ammo pouch so like i said this is the second pattern and it does not have a metal plate in the front it does lose its shape after a little while but still in good condition i'd say i got this in a pack of two and here's my other one right here this is, this is dated 1967. I got these two off of eBay for a really good deal, like 30 bucks. Usually it costs that much just for one of them. But um, really nice. I'd say I would really highly recommend them if you're going for um, a late war Marine, um, any US Army soldier, or um, if you're portraying an Arvin soldier. Um, I might recommend this to you depending on what unit or company you're in or portraying but oh that's the m56 ammo pouch right here they also made a third pattern or also known as the shorty magazine m56 ammo pouch it was able to hold three of these but it was actually designed for this um it was a lot shorter it was about this tall right to where this is so it was a lot easier to grab your m16a1 20 round magazines and you see them being used by the army most of the time, sometimes in the first cavalry, but um, most times they were, um, you would see them on some companies, not as often, like maybe one out of every 20 uh, men there you would see one, or one out of every 10, but most companies they had them issued out, and most times they would see them in the first cavalry division, and most army um, companies and um, units, but yeah. Just a um, quick little thing I want to tell you, and yep. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to attach a grenade or put a grenade onto your M56 ammo pouch. Let's get right into it. So, the first thing you will do is take a grenade. Oh, this is um, just a cheap um, airsoft one. It doesn't like explode, you just unscrew the top off and you can put BBs in there. But um, that's like 8 bucks, you can buy it anywhere pretty much at an airsoft store. And you would unhook this button right here, bring it around, and you see this, take the spoon part of it and stick it into this little pouch, right down in there. Now, 
you take this flap right here, you bring it all the way around the top, and until you see this little click right here, until you hear a click, you snap it right onto here, and when you hear this, right here, right here, hear that click, you're good to go, and now you have your basic um, lemon grenade or any grenade you can put on here, and you can hold one on each side, so two, two per ammo pouch, and there you have it. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you how to fit three M16A1 magazines or 20 round magazines into an M56 ammo pouch. Unfortunately, I do not have two M14 magazines, but I do have three of them, three airsoft ones. But um, so I'll just show you um, the three airsoft ones. They're metal high cap ones, but pretty cheap, 10 bucks. But um, so let me show you how to um, put them together, put it in a minute. So, here you open it, just like I showed, and in the compartment, you would do it this way, just like that. So, just do it sideways, side by side, and, well, it's pretty easy, and there you, you have it right there, but, um, if you look closely, there, it is kind of, um, low down in there, if you can look closely at an angle a good inch from the top into the bottom but um i would highly recommend uh putting like um cardboard at the bottom or something but um that's actually how they would use it they would put cardboard at the bottom to make um the magazines raise right higher up so they can grab it easier but um well this is just what it looks like um airsoft magazines but um i might uh if i do get um m14 magazines i will show you how to put those in Alright guys, so this is my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. And I am planning on getting um, a first pattern M56 ammo pouch. But in the meantime, so far this is all I got. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and comment down below for more videos. And have a great day. Bye-bye.